In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make a LoRa 1 end node using this LoRa module and an Arduino Uno. This LoRa module is based on Hope RF RF96 as you see on the marking. This is also based on SX1276 of Semtech LoRa 1 chip. By the way, this Arduino Uno is already converted to 3.3 volts operation. I will put down the link on how I do that down below because this module operates on 3.3 volts logic level. I also have an end node that is based on Arduino Mega. In case you need more pins, you can also use this the same with this module, Hope RF96. Each LoRaWAN project requires a LoRaWAN gateway. This is the gateway that I'm using. It's Rock 2245. I will put a link down below how I set this up to connect to TTN. Let me now show you the connection between this module and the Arduino Uno as well as the sample source code, how we can connect to the Things network. Before we do our work on the end nodes, we need to ensure first that our gateway is online. We need to go in this website and then create an account. Once we get an account, we can register our gateways here. So now, I'm checking if my gateway is online. It's actually online here. The library that we're going to use is this, Arduino Elmic library. Elmic stands for LoRa Mac in C. You can have this on this link. The, we have to install it on our Arduino. To do that, we need to click this and download zip. Then click save here. Then we can now go on our Arduino. Now that we're here in Arduino, we can click on sketch, then include library, and click add zip library. Then we can go on the, in the downloads and click on the Arduino Elmic master the zip. Then it will, the Arduino will now attempt to add that library. Then you will see here that library added to your libraries. Check include library menu. Now that the library is added, we can now click on file and then examples. The examples, you can go on Elmic Arduino and then click on TTN ABP. There are a few things that we need to modify here so that we can connect it to the Things network. First are the keys, the network session key and the application session key. This should We should get this from the Things network. Also, we need to copy the device address from the Things network. Next is we need to configure the pins for our Arduino Uno. We will just retain this the same because we don't need to we just follow this connection. To give you a summary of the connection, this is how I do it. My Arduino is already converted to 3.3 volts. That's why I don't need this logic level shifter that will shift the signal lines from 5 volts to 3.3 volts because our LoRa module here only uses 3.3 volts logic. So these are the summary of the connections that I did. Now let's go back here on the Things Network and go on now on Applications. Now I have here the application and as you see, I already have a device here, one device on the application. We need to copy the credentials of this device, the device address, the network session key, and the application session key. By the way, our activation method is ABP. You have to ensure that by going on settings and then clicking this ABP and then click save. But for now, it's already ABP so we can proceed on our next step by copying these credentials. So we need to copy this device address by clicking this you can go back here under the Arduino IDE and you can put that here. Okay. Next to copy are the session keys. Let's copy first the application session key. But we need to put this in this format. Then let's copy that. We can now go back to Arduino. So we can copy that here. Yeah, we copy this. Go back to Arduino and then we can just copy that all. Select that all and then paste. Now, next is the network session key. 
let's go back here on the things network click this then you copy that go here next is the network session keys now it's done uploading we can now check the serial monitor if it's actually sending it okay you can now go back on the things network and see if our device is live status is live it seemed two seconds ago and seems to send frames ideally every 10 seconds okay let's see here in the data it's actually sending yeah it's actually sending I hope you find this video useful and interesting and I have more videos about LoRaWAN. This is just the first step and our end node is now connected on the Things Network network server. Bye bye.